Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution R Stat Play, and today I am going to be doing a fun little relaxing piece in my sketchbook while I talk to you a little bit about how I feel since I have been out of school. So I have to apologize, this piece was kind of already started before I started filming. I wasn't planning on filming it, and then... I decided to and it's not gonna look anything like this by the end of it you will see I came at this with no idea what I wanted to do I had been missing my paints and just wanted to play with paint for a little bit and so I didn't come at it with a plan and you'll see me change it numerous times before I come out with what I ended up with and it's definitely not a masterpiece but that's okay it's my sketchbook and my sketchbook is for play and so you're kind of getting a view of that and I do want to apologize that I took a couple of weeks off. I was working on a commission and I just wanted to have time to focus on that. But I do have some more fun content coming, including a few different reviews and some other fun stuff. So, okay, let's get to the subject of this video. And that is the fact that I feel weird not being in school. <laughs> it has officially been a year since I graduated from college with my art degree, and it's it's been a weird year, not only because of COVID, but just because I had spent five years in school, even though it was technically a four-year program. The way it was set up, it made it almost impossible to get it done in four years, even though I was going full-time. So I was in school for just about five years, and I did not anticipate how much I would miss it, and my senior year was plagued <laughs> by COVID-19, so to speak, so the end of the year, I kind of missed out on the typical things that I would have been able to have my senior year in college. I didn't get to have a graduation. I, um, I ended up having to say goodbye to my classmates and my professors in person sooner than I had anticipated because we could no longer be in the classroom. So it was already a non-traditional kind of year. And that was sad to begin with. And then I just, I really wanted it to be over because school is stressful and I did not expect to miss it as much as I do. So I'm starting to finally get used to things, but it was really, really strange after the summer and fall when fall came around and I wasn't signing up for classes like that was strange for me and I just really miss the atmosphere of being in studio classes being around other artists and creating next to them I miss my friends I miss my professors and these are things that I did not anticipate because school is really stressful and I am somebody who went to school late in life I did not go to college until 10 years after I had graduated high school so I, I, I didn't know what to anticipate like I didn't know what to expect out of school I knew it was gonna be stressful I knew it was gonna be scary to start with and I knew it was going to be a challenge, but I did not expect to meet people that would change who I am. I did not necessarily expect that working beside other artists would change me as an artist. And I didn't expect to miss that so much after. And I think that's the part that's the hardest. I, I've been calling it post-school depression <laughs> because I don't, I feel... A little lost I guess I didn't go to school to art school to get a career <laughs> I mean let's be honest like if I had gone for something very really specific such as graphic design or something it would be a little different but I just went because I wanted to learn more about art I was self-taught my whole life and I wanted to learn from experts in the field and I just am somebody who wants to learn as much about art as I possibly can and so that was my aim and I was able to learn other things along the way because of course I had to take core classes that had nothing to do with artwork and I didn't anticipate liking that as much as I did but I love to learn and so I really loved that environment I loved challenging myself and I excelled in school I got really good grades and I I felt accomplished and I felt productive and I think that's kind of part of my problem now that I'm out of school I'm not creating as much because I'm obviously working more but also with school, I was working and I was going to school and I had to do school work and art for school and then my own art. So I was doing a lot all the time and now I'm just working and doing my own art. And so I feel a little like, 
mm, unproductive, even if I'm being productive all the time, even though I still feel like I don't have enough time to get my videos out every week or, you know, all those things, you know, life is stressful. And so I still don't feel like I have enough time. And yet I, I feel like I'm getting less done than I was before, even though I technically have more time. And so that's kind of added to that feeling. It's just kind of this, like, I'm like, frozen in time kind of feeling like I don't know how to explain it like an overwhelming feeling it's been very strange though obviously there have been perks I don't have to do art if I don't feel like it <laughs> I mean until I do eventually become a full-time artist but like it's just one of those things like I don't have to do art because somebody's telling me to do it like I don't have to do assignments I don't have to do homework for classes that I didn't really want to take you know, all these things that were stressful about it, I don't have that anymore. And so that has been nice. It's just, it's just been very strange. And I didn't expect that. I didn't expect to miss it so much. And now I'm seeing why some people become career students. It seems like there are some people who are always going back to school because it is, it's a nice challenge and it's, it's a good environment. And it's, it's a great experience to have. And it's a little hard to let go of. And as I mentioned, I, my experience got cut short because I didn't get to have my regular graduation and they had postponed it until this year. And then when they did my graduation, they did it virtually and all they did was kind of scroll our names on the screen. It was not the same kind of experience. I was grateful, however, to have had my senior thesis exhibition. And to me, that felt like my real graduation. And even that had been delayed. It was supposed to happen last spring around the regular graduation time and it got postponed till the fall and it was a very limited event where we had a small amount of guests social distancing masking you know the whole shebang but we were still able to do it and it was still warm enough out that we were able to go outside and we had a limited amount of people come into the gallery at a time so that they could look at the pieces and that was it was still a wonderful experience and it was very special and so to me, that was kind of my graduation. I was able to be presented with an award there that the art faculty had nominated me for. So I was, I was able to have that experience and that was really good. And I'm very fortunate that I had a great graduation when I graduated high school. I had the whole, you know, the regular pomp and circumstance, so to speak. And so I've already had that experience. I do feel sorry for those who missed out on their high school graduation, because to me, that's a big deal. And so I'm not, I'm not complaining. I know people have had worse experiences out there. And throughout this situation, I have been very, very fortunate as far as health and, and um, safety goes. And so I don't, I, it's not a woe is me thing. I just think it kind of added a little bit to the shock of being in school all the time to not being in school. And it, that is something that I had had a really hard time with when I first stopped, you know, going. Like, I mean, at first it kind of felt like, okay, summer vacation. And then after a while, it was like, wow, this is weird. Like, I feel like I should be doing something. I get home from work and I'm like, I feel like I should be doing something. I feel like a big old lump because I'm not doing as much because I'm not doing homework. And so it's just, I don't know. I know this video is rambling, but I kind of want to talk about it because I'm sure that there's others out there who felt the same way if they went to art school or even if they went to school for something else. You just go from being so busy and it's such a huge part of your life and then all of a sudden it's gone. Like all the people that I got to see, I didn't get to keep up with keep in touch with them as much because of the virus and obviously I'm not seeing my professors anymore and they kind of become a big influence in your life for a while and it's just strange. It's just such a weird feeling. I honestly think it's the people that I miss the most because the people that you go to school with, the people that go through your program with you, especially something as rigorous as the art program that I went through, they're the ones that are going to understand you in ways that others don't. There are the ones that are going to understand the stress that you're going through, the stress of the assignments, the stress of having to juggle life and, and artwork and, and classes. And it's, it's just one of those things, like it's a bond 
And I miss those people a lot because they definitely understand. They know what it's like. And I went to a school that's kind of non-traditional. Most of the people in my school are not of the age like fresh out of high school. There's a lot of people that are older and there's a lot of, I mean, there are people anywhere from, you know, high school age, obviously, or just out of high school all the way up into their fifties and sixties. And I loved that because it kind of evened the playing field because we all were kind of, we were from different walks of life and it diversified things, but we also could have this understanding that there's, there's a lot of life going on outside of the classroom and it made you really have empathy for other people and what they were going through. You know, you had some people who were taking care of their parents because that's the age that they were at and their parents were elderly. You had some people who were single parents who were taking care of their children. Or like I said, you did have some people who were fresh out of high school and hadn't experienced life yet, but were learning from these other people who they had shared the classroom with. And that was a great experience as well. There was just such a a different form of having like different sets of eyes on your artwork too. And that's something that was an experience. Critique. That was a huge experience that I never had to deal with before. Other than, you know, you got trolls online who like to say hateful things, but that's not real critique. This was other students who respected you and we all respected each other and we wanted to see each other succeed. And so we would tell each other, you know, give each other advice on the artwork. We had to critique each other's work. It taught us how to, one, take critique, but also it taught us how to analyze other people's artwork, which in turn makes you a better artist. Because if you can analyze others' artwork, if you can see what you liked about others' artwork or what you maybe didn't like about others' artwork, then you can take that knowledge back to your own artwork. And so... That was great as well. And it kind of held you accountable. Like if you had an assignment and you knew a bunch of other people were further along on that assignment, you were going to bust ass so that you could try and make sure you were up on that assignment. And it's just, you know, it's a great motivating factor. And then you get to sit next to your friends in class and, and create next to them and also give each other feedback real time. And it's almost like one big collaboration. And that was such a great experience. I had never been around other artists before. I was always the artist in my life here or there. I mean, I had friends that I would draw with and things like that, but I never, not in that kind of setting. And we were all there to learn and we were learning as much from each other as we were learning from the professors. And that is something that you'll see online a little bit. Like, obviously you have that in the YouTube community quite a bit, but there's just something to be said for also going through these stressful experiences with one another that I don't know. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like obviously the stress was hard, but I learned so much from it. And it's, I've always been kind of a self-starter anyways. I'm pretty motivated when it comes to my art. I try to be prolific. I always am trying to challenge myself, but it was nice to have other people challenging me as well. And I do miss that. I miss my people. I miss my art people a lot. And I think that's been the hardest thing. You see these people, you watch them grow as people and as artists, and you go through these things together. And then all of a sudden you're not seeing each other anymore. And you know, you have a virus on top of it. That's making it hard to be social with people. You can't just go out and be social the same way. I mean, we're getting there now, but so I wasn't able to stay in touch as easily and it's just been hard. The whole thing was a lot harder than I expected and I miss the environment. I miss being in the classroom. Sometimes I drive by where I went to school and I feel like I should be going there. Like I even, I miss the faculty. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. It's, it's just hard to explain, but I am so happy that I was able to go have that experience and it's something that I'll never forget. Like I said, I was there for five years. I was doing things that I never would have done had I not gone to school. I was trying different mediums such as plaster sculpting and intaglio printmaking and I was learning things that I didn't necessarily think I would ever learn. Like 
I had a women's studies class that involved women in music history. And then I had one about women in art history. And so like all these things, like I'm so grateful for the experiences and I really thoroughly enjoyed my time at school and I didn't realize it. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed it at the time because it was so stressful. So it was, it was quite, um, quite a situation, I guess. And it went by so fast and now it's gone and all that stress and everything, like I'm relieved. I, I feel good, but I do feel like a little piece is missing. And so I've been buying books. I've still been learning. I've still been trying to teach myself new things because I am a forever student. I will never stop learning about art, especially. I, I love to learn and that's just who I am, but it's just, you know, different. And I thought I would share that with you because I've been a little bit off and I, I can feel it and I think other people might be able to sense it. I don't know if my viewers can because you know, I only show you a limited amount of things going on. Lately, I've been doing a lot of reviews of art supplies, so you're not necessarily seeing that side of me. But it's definitely been interesting. So have, have you ever gone to school and did you feel this way? Or maybe it was a job that you felt sad leaving because, you know, it was a big part of your life and now it's gone. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever experienced something like this. Because... I didn't expect it. <laughs> I really didn't. So this piece here is, it ended up turning into kind of a misty, foggy ocean scene where the, the horizon kind of gets blurred out. And I think that that's oddly fitting for the subject of this video because I, I know where I came from. I have a goal of where I'm going, but it's not necessarily as clear as I would like for it to be. And so you got the kind of the choppy water in the beginning, and then it just gets really, really hazy. But I like how kind of light it is. There's still like this light to it that is almost uplifting. And yeah, I, like I said, I didn't have a reference. I just kind of came out of nowhere with this. I'm adding some shimmery acrylics. Sometimes it's just fun to play in the sketchbook and not have any sort of aim like I said, this obviously isn't my best piece in the world, but really, who gives a damn? It's in my sketchbook, and that's what the sketchbook is for, and, you know, I'm going back and forth on it, and just kind of relaxing with it. And this is actually mostly in real time this time. I cut out the pieces where I was mixing the color, and so, like, my brush was away from the painting, but other than that, it's mostly in real time. And so you're kind of seeing the pace that I was going at when I was creating this. And, and this was just such a fun little experiment, so to speak. I didn't really, I didn't obviously script this video clearly. <laughs> Things will be back on track next week, though. I have some reviews coming up and I think that you will be happy with those reviews I'm hoping anyway okay this little piece is done time for the ultra satisfying tape peel I want to thank you so much for watching and for listening to me kind of express my feelings about missing school I know that it was one long ramble so I appreciate it if you're still here and I will see you next time also, I just wanted to remind you, I started a TikTok. It's much more uplifting this, than this video. I will link that in the description if you would like to follow along there for shorter, more fun and funny videos. Bye.